हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ओके एक्चुअली इन लास्ट क्लास दैट आई हैव स्टार्टेड विथ फिफ्थ यूनिट इन दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मोटिवेशन एंड एस्टिमेटिंग द हाइपोथेसिस एक्यूरेसी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द सैंपल एरर एंड ट्रू एरर and also with respect to the confidence intervals for a discrete valued hypothesis right so in today's class uh, i'm going to discuss uh, the basics of sampling theory right so in this section as uh, it will introduce the basic notions from uh, the statistics and the sampling theory including uh, the probability distributions expected value variance binomial and normal distributions and two sided and one sided intervals so a basic familiarity with uh, these concepts is very important to understand how to evaluate uh, hypothesis and uh, learning algorithms even more important uh, these uh, some notions provide an important conceptual framework for understanding machine learning issues such as uh, overfitting and the relationship between successful generalization and the number of training examples that are considered so here i am going to discuss one of the important concept that is uh, error estimation and estimating uh, binomial proportions so precisely how does the deviation between uh, the sample error and the true error depend on the size of the data sample of course uh, this is what uh, the question is so this question is uh, an instance of uh, a well studied problem in statistics here the problem of estimating the proportion of a population that exhibits some property given the observed proportion over some random sample of population so in our case the property of interest is that uh, h misclassifies the example here the key to answering this question is uh, to note that when we measure the sample error that we are performing an experiment with a random outcome we first collect a random sample capital s of n independently drawn instances from the distribution capital d and then measure the sample error that is error s of h so this uh, i have discussed in the previous class that is a sample error error s of h so as it is noted in the previous section that if we were to repeat this experiment many times then each time drawing a different random sample si of size n so we would expect to observe different values for the various error si of h it depending on the random differences in the makeup of the various si so we say in such cases that error si of h the outcome of i such experiment is a random variable so in general uh, one can think of a random variable as the name of an experiment with a random outcome so this is important here the value of random variable is the observed outcome of the random experiment so now imagine that uh, we were to run k such random experiments measuring the random variables error si of h comma error s2 of h comma error s3 of h and so on up to error sk of h so imagine further that we then plotted a histogram displaying the frequency with which we observed each possible error value so as we allowed k to grow so the histogram would approach the form of distribution which is shown in this particular figure so this figure will show the binomial distribution for uh, the range of values so this table describes a particular probability distribution which is known as binomial distribution so kindly observe this figure 
here a binomial distribution gives the probability of observing r heads in a sample of n independent coin tosses that is coin tosses when the probability of heads on a single coin toss is p then it is defined by the probability function that is p of r which is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial into p raised to r into 1 minus p raised to n minus r so if the random variable capital x follows a binomial distribution then the probability pr of x equal to r that x will take on the value r which is given by p of r here the expected or mean value of x is e of x which is given as e of x equal to summation i p of i where i equal to 0 to n which is equal to n p that is the expected or mean value of x e of x is equal to n p and the variance of x is where of x is equal to e of x minus e of x square which is equal to n p in bracket 1 minus p that is variance of x is where of x is equal to n p of 1 minus p that is n p into 1 minus p then standard deviation of x that is uh, sigma x is uh, sigma x is equivalent to square root of e of x minus e of x square which is equal to square root of n p into 1 minus p that is standard deviation of x is sigma x is equal to square root of n p into 1 minus p so for sufficiently the large values of uh, n binomial distribution is closely approximated by a normal distribution as it was uh, shown in the table with the same mean and the variance so the most uh, statisticians recommend for using the normal approximation only when np into 1 minus p is greater than or equal to pi so if it is greater than or equal to pi then it is recommended to use the normal approximation okay now i am going to discuss the binomial distribution in detail so this concept is very important here so as you know a good way to understand the binomial distribution is to consider the following problem so consider this problem for example uh, you are given a worn and bent coin and asked to estimate the probability that the coin will turn up heads when it is tossed now let us call this unknown probability of heads as a small p so when you toss the coin n times and record the number of times r that it turns up heads so a uh, reasonable estimate of p is r by n right now know that if the experiment were written then it will generate a new set of n coin tosses that we might expect the number of heads are to vary somewhat from the value measured in the first experiment which will yield a somewhat different estimate for small p now the binomial distribution will describe for each possible value of r then the probability of observing exactly r heads given a sample of n independent tosses of coin whose uh, a true probability of head, heads is small p here when we will estimate a p from a random sample of coin tosses which is equivalent to estimating error d of h that is a true error from 
testing edge on a random sample of instances so a single toss of coin which is corresponding to drawing a single random instance from capital D and determining whether it is uh, misclassified by H or not now the probability P that a single random coin that will toss will turn up the head corresponding to the probability that a single instance which is drawn at a random will be misclassified by H now the probability P that a single random coin toss will turn up head correspond to the probability that a single instance drawn at the random that will be misclassified now the number of that is uh, the number R of heads observed over a sample of n coin tosses corresponding to the number of misclassifications observed over n randomly drawn instances hence R by n correspond to error S of H here the problem of estimating P for coins is identical to the problem of estimating error D of H for the hypothesis the binomial distribution which will give the general form of probability distribution for the random variable R whether it represents the number of heads in n coin tosses or the number of hypothesis errors in a sample of n examples the detailed form of a binomial distribution it depend on whether the specific sample size n and the specific probability p or error d of h now the general setting to which the binomial distribution applies is so these are what some of the settings here to which the binomial distribution applies first one there is a base or underlying or experiment whose outcome can be described by a random variable say y the random variable y can take on uh, two possible values that is uh, y equal to 1 if it is head y equal to 0 if it tails second one is that the probability that y equal to 1 on any single trial of underlying experiment is given by some constant small p which is independent of the outcome of any other experiment the probability that capital Y equal to 0 is therefore 1 minus P so typically small p is not known in advance and the problem is to estimate it a third one a series of n independent trials of the underlying experiment is performed which will produce the sequence of independent identically distributed random variables that is y1 y2 y3 and so on yn let r denote the number of trials for which yi equal to 1 in this series of n experiments so capital r equal to summation yi where i will range from 1 to n then last setting is that the probability that the random variable r will take on a specific value r which is given by the binomial distribution that is uh, PR of R equal to R which is equal to N factorial divided by R factorial into N minus R factorial into P raised to R 1 minus P raised to N minus R so a plot of that is a, a plot of this probability distribution that is a plot of this probability distribution is shown in this particular figure right so the binomial distribution characterizes the probability of observing r heads from n coin clips experiments as well as the probability of observing r errors in a data sampling which is containing n randomly drawn instances so this is all about uh, the binomial distribution this is the basics and in the next class that i am going to dis uh, discuss a mean variance and the standard deviation and their uh, respective formulas indeed thank you